How to buy NFTs. One, open an exchange account and crypto wallet. To buy NFTs, the first step to take is to open an account on a crypto exchange or a crypto platform. Before opening any account, you need to understand the differences between cryptocurrency exchanges, wallets, and marketplaces. Exchanges. Exchanges are online platforms where you can buy and sell several types of cryptocurrencies. Before you can buy NFTs, it is a must you create an account with any exchange platform of your choice. Different platforms offer different services, so you should carry out your research properly. Open a crypto wallet. A crypto wallet helps you safeguard your digital assets, including crypto coins and tokens, for example, NFTs. Crypto wallets do not store your tokens and coins. What they store are the keys that give you access to all your digital assets. You will be given a unique seed phrase or recovery phrase to access your wallet. This phrase should be stored safely. You should safeguard your seed phrase because much like a physical wallet, if it gets lost, you lose everything in it. Wallets can operate separately or may be hosted on an exchange. This means that you have full control over your wallet. You also have the responsibility of keeping your wallet and private keys safe. When using a digital wallet hosted by an exchange, the exchange acts as a third party in the transfer of crypto just like a bank. The company is responsible for the security of your assets because it holds your private keys. On the other hand, if you want to buy, sell, or trade NFTs without involving a third party, then you will need a wallet that is directly tied to the blockchain. Currency can be transferred directly between people this way. 2. Buy Ethereum Ethereum is a type of network used in most transactions, and these transactions are recorded and distributed to members on a shared ledger. The currency native to Ethereum's platform is called Ether or ETH, and it is also referred to as Ethereum, and the majority of NFTs are built on the Ethereum blockchain. Ethereum is also similar to Bitcoin, as it can be bought, saved, sold, and traded to increase its value. 3. Transfer Ethereum into a crypto wallet Once you have created an exchange account and bought Ether, the next thing to do is transfer it to your crypto wallet. How this is done will be determined by the exchange platform you bought your Ether, the wallet you use, and the marketplace you intend to buy your NFT from. For example, if you bought a cold wallet, you will need to link your cold wallet to a third-party connection, then to the NFT marketplace. The most widely used wallets in NFT marketplaces are MetaMask or Coinbase Wallet. 4. Connect your crypto wallet to the NFT marketplace NFTs began in the digital art world. However, you can buy many different types of NFTs nowadays, such as digital art, video games, music, fashion, digital collectibles, photography, sports highlight, trading cards, domain names, memes, NFTs with a utility which is a physical item that accompanies an NFT, and lots more. The NFT marketplace landscape is constantly changing. Most of the marketplaces now fall into one of these three categories. Open Marketplace In the open marketplace, anyone can buy, sell, or mint NFTs. When you mint an NFT, you convert a digital work into a unique crypto asset. Open marketplaces usually offer in-house minting options. Closed Marketplace These marketplaces are more exclusive than the open marketplace. Artists have to apply, and the marketplace undertakes the minting process. Also, selling and trading are more restricted. Proprietary Marketplace This proprietary marketplace sells NFTs that have been trademarked or copyrighted by the company that operates it. You should consider creating accounts with a variety of marketplaces and also subscribe to them so you can receive announcements about NFT drops. Social media is important when it comes to sharing and receiving information. Several platforms such as Discord and Twitter can be used to get information. Also, for investors, Rarity Sniper and Rarity Tools are used. So, when NFTs drop, you must be ready to act fast. You should connect your wallet with the account you must have created on the marketplace to sell the NFT. This process is usually the same way across sites. Some marketplaces have a way of setting up a new wallet for you from within the website, or they can use their own proprietary wallet. 
using a marketplace's proprietary wallet sometimes comes with discounts or a reduction of additional gas fees that comes with the use of external wallets. 5. Buy NFT Popular NFTs sell very quickly, so if you want to buy an NFT, you should ensure your wallet is well-funded before the NFTs drop. It is also important to know that buying an NFT doesn't mean you have bought the copyright, except that is part of the direct agreement between you and the creator. Security Before buying any NFT, it's important to spend time finding out how to keep your information and cryptocurrency very safe. You need to learn about security. You have to be safe in this space. That is the most important rule for everybody. Just like when you wanted to start driving, you had to go to a driving school and learn the rules and be safe. You should also research the security measures you need to take before you set up a wallet and buy anything. You can use the two-factor authentication whenever you are doing a transaction to make sure that everything is safe and works as planned.